Hello everyone, in this video, I will show how to use the classification learner application in MATLAB with SVM algorithm for making separation of speech barrier. First of all, uh, I prepare this data for speech recognition that can recognize number one till number five. Here, X1 is represent the data of, uh, from number one recognition speech. It contains the 32 data for each uh, speech. So in this uh, row, it's 32 data represent uh, number one. And for number one, it has 50 data and so on until five. So in the total, we have 150 data. Uh, we combine it in the variable X train and for labels, we use the, the Y train here. Y1 is represent the number one label that I make a matrix with the 50 number, uh, similar size of the X data. Then I collect in the Y train data. And for all of this data, I save in the math data file and then here we run so you can see the data in workspace right now it's available and then in the save data also and we're going to start the classification learner you can find it in apps in the MATLAB so the classification learner you will able to make separation of everything here we will make the separation of speech data we start new season uh, get the data from workspace here is the data set we input the x train and for the response we get from the workspace again with w train so it's automatically adjust with a similar size of matrix. And then the validation scheme, uh, I use a default cross validations to make a protection over the overfitting. So cross validation five is good enough for me. Star sessions. I will forget to show this data. Mm. This data is similar that I showed before, so it's combine all of the data from speech one to speech five. So the default from a classification learner here, it's uh, show the three algorithm, but we're going to select the SVM algorithm. Here there are several algorithm for SVM that we can choose linear, quadratic, and so on, but we want to find the best algorithm, so we will select optimizable SVM. Here we can uh, set the parameter that can be optimized by this optimizable SVM. For example, the kernel function, if you check this box and then it's automatically choose between the linear, Gaussian and so on. But if you leave it unchecked here, you can select specific kernel function that you will use. For example, here I want to just have a simple algorithm. So I will select linear. And then multi-class here, I just want to have a one versus one algorithm and the rest of uh, checkbox, I leave it uh, check box constraint level. So it will uh, find the best box constraint level for me. Here we do train selected for this just as we optimizable, and it will run the iterations so we can see the minimum classification error and it will try to find the best or the minimum classification error. It will take some time, so I will make this video pass.
Okay, so right now we found out the best. Uh, it's data. Uh, I mean, like with linear function, we got the accuracy is 100%. So all of the data has been 100% sparable. Here, in the beginning, we get the error still, but after that, we got the best minimum error with the zero error. I mean, this is the 50 data, so it's not uh, probably if we implement in real time, then we will get the error. But this just this data can be variable like 100%. And then this parameter that we can use uh, for making the exactly linear function, linear SVM. So from this, we can uh, find mm, several other parameters that we can choose. But here it's uh, good enough. We can follow this, this recommendations. So uh, I'm going to select the linear SVM here. And I'm going to adjust this as uh, optimizable, give us the best value here. Uh, similar and then we do it with trim. And then the result is exactly the same, it's exactly similar with the optimizable. You can see the summary and allocation confusion matrix, and you can see the scatter. Here, actually, the scatter, but it will not represent uh, good enough, but yeah, you can see the separation. This is x and y uh, axis is based on the column data. Basically it it will give the best separation if you just have the two variable x and y and then you can get the separation. But this it's good enough when we uh, have column two as x and column three for y. This can, you can see the separable uh, variable for x uh, for the number one till number five. So after you got this, you can generate a function in the uh, from this algorithm. You can uh, click this generate functions. And yes, this function will uh, require the two data, training data and response data. Exactly, training data is x train. And then response data is y train, and it will return the value of training classifier and then validation accuracy. The trained classifier it's the model classifier that will generate by the here. The fit C C O C. So this uh, classification SVM. So they create a template SVM for this as we said in the application and then they will use the fit CCOC for generating the model. And then the validation accuracy will follow the setting that you choose before. Like I choose cross validation with the parameter five. So they will create the similar. So we can save this. I save it in the same directory. So now we have the trend classifier function that we can use. And then I have prepared the trend classifier uh, test file. Uh, in this test file, I will load the data that we have uh, saved before from the pro data. Uh, it's contain X and Y train and I will use as an input for this function and I will uh, save the, the model, the trend classifier model, specifically in the classification SVM as trend result. 
So this safe data can be used for uh, do the predictions after the testing. So we we'll run here. It takes a little bit of time. And it's done. Okay, we got it now. Uh, here, the trend classifier function, we save the classification as FM. The validation accuracy is 1 because it's 100%. Uh, if you have like 95%, so you will get a 0 0.95. But here it's good enough for us. And then we save the trend result here at the map data. We can use this trend result for the actual prediction with the actual test. I have prepared also the, the speech function. So here I create this SVM speech functions that will get the input of 32 data because in uh, speech we represent the speech uh, number one till number five with 32 data right so we use that input and then we generate the the output is a label so with this input you will get like number one to, or number like till number five so first of all we load the learner with the load learner coder the data that we sent uh, save before this data and then with the function of predict we can use the the, the model to uh, generate the label based on the input that we put that here the label i convert in single because uh, this is for the next uh, tutorial for generating the sql but this function is good enough to do the prediction with the svm algorithm that we have trained before this uh, SVM speech task. This SVM speech test is a file that I prepare for testing the, the function that we created before. From this, we will use this function for actual make classification here. Uh, we load the data again for raw data, and then we take the data like the brain number data. You can choose whatever data, but here it's 29, it's uh, still on the speech number one, so the label should uh, result the number one. Here, the data I convert it to the single, and then I use as an input, and then we run. So the result is number one. We can we can uh, test with the other data. As I mentioned before, I have uh, fifty data for each number. So uh, number zero, uh, number one till number fifty, it will give the result y test with the number one. Then if we change into like seventy four. Can you get? Can you guess what the number that we will get? Actually, it's number two. Let's see. Yep. Uh, that's good. Uh, two hundred forty-three. Maybe it should give us number five. Yes. And then give this. Okay, so this function is work. You have the function for making predictions with the SVM. So that's all for this tutorial. We're going to do C code generation from this train SVM in the next video. Thank you. If you have any question, feel free to do comment. Bye.